All right, so uh, in this video, we're going to look at the preparation of a trial balance. Now, a trial balance gives you a, well, let's look at the definition, actually. A trial balance is a list of all active accounts in the general ledger and their working balances at a particular point in time. Basically, it lets you know how much of something you have. Pretty important thing to know if you're in business. Uh, so you guys have been keeping track of transactions, individual transactions, but it's nice to know how much money you've got in the bank. It's nice to know how many inventories you have. It's nice to know how much uh, revenue you've made or accounts receivable you expect to come in or accounts payable, how many debts you've got to pay. So a trial balance just gives you a working balance at a particular point in time, or maybe at the end of the week or at the end of the month. Uh, let's let's jump into doing a trial balance and we can see how it all works all right so if you look here um, we've got someone's general ledger uh, and with this general ledger we're going to do something called a working balance create a bunch of working balances let's choose a different color here so we can see what's going on now the way that we do it is pretty simple uh, let's look at service revenue first of all we had a, on the 7th of July, we had a, a bank's account receivable here. So we made some sort of service revenue of $2,000. And then on July 16, we made some sort of, oh, sorry, bank on the 7th of July. And then on the 16th, we had some sort of accounts receivable. So over the course of July, it looks like we made like two transactions that involve service revenue. And the total of those transactions was, why isn't my pen working, $5,000, sorry guys, underneath, $5,000, and circle it, that's a working balance, so we've got $5,000 in the credit section, uh, now this advertising one, that's pretty straightforward, you can see advertising here, there was one transaction of $100, if there's just one transaction, you don't need to write anything, you just need to circle the one transaction, because that'll give us the working balance of our advertising, $100 in the debit column. Now this one, this one's more complicated. I'll have to do just a little bit of maths here. You can see that when we get to our bank account, bank account's always more complicated because there's a lot of money going in and out. 20000 2000 40000 on the left-hand side. I'm just going to make a little note over here. 62000 So 62000 on that side. And then on the credit side, there's 42,000, 1,100. So that's 43,100. Now, I might need to get a calculator out. So that's going to be 62,000 minus 43,100. That's 18,900. And that means we've got 18,900 more on this side than we had on this side. So I'm just going to put 18,900 on the debit side and I'm going to circle it. Uh, now if I just look at the rest of the ledger, oops, accidentally cuts off my 18,000, I'll just fix that up, 18,900, that's my bank. Now if I look at the rest of my ledger, you can see I've already done the rest of it, service revenue 3,000, furniture 2,000, 42,000 for motor vehicle 2,000, 40,000, 20,000 and 1,000. Now if I go down here into my trial balance, all I need to do is write down the account name starting from the top. So we've got service revenue. And we have a running balance of $5,000. And that's $5,000 in the credit section. Advertising. We have $100 in the debit column, bank, bank, where are you, bank, 18900 and it goes on like this for the whole thing, uh, accounts receivable, 3000 I'll fill in the rest and I'll get back to you. Okay. Um, that's all of them filled out. Now, the trial balance. The reason it's called a trial balance is because at the very end, you balance up the left-hand side 
and the right hand side. Now that this should be a lot neater than this. So let's take a look at an example so you can see how neat it should be. Uh, this is where I, I grabbed this example from. It's from your textbook. Uh, now you can see a trial balance down the left hand side, debits, credits, and then at the end you add up the left hand side, you add up the right hand side. Now it's called a trial balance because if the left hand side and the right hand side match, that's good news. It means that you've at least done some sort of double entry accounting, credits of equal debits. Uh, you might get to the end and go, wait a minute, uh oh, this adds up to this much and this adds up to a different amount. That means that your trial balance has failed and you need to figure out where your mistake was. Maybe your mistake was in the general ledger. Um, maybe, your, maybe your mistake was further back in the general journal. Or maybe your mistake was actually moving into the trial balance. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, now, you can see in the textbook here it says limitations of and errors in the trial balance. The limitation of the trial balance is just because they match up doesn't mean you're right. Uh, you might have put something... You might have matched up debits and credits, but you might have put something in the wrong account. You might have put something in bank account when it should have gone in accounts receivable, something like that. So just because it's a trial balance doesn't mean like, yeah, I'm right, but it is a good first step to make sure that you at least matched up debits and credits. Okay, um, that's all there is to a trial balance. Add up the left-hand side or the right-hand side, add up the debit and the credit, make sure that they add up, circle them, or you've got to write in a new number if there's lots and lots of different stuff in there and then shift them over into something like this, the trial balance and if it's looking really pretty it should look something like that. Alright, that's the trial balance.